the travel narrative comes before this. I've skipped that, but it's Samothrace and on through. But here's here's the story of the first encounter that we know of in with Europeans with the gospel. On the Sabbath, we, Luke is now using the first person, plural, so this is why people think that it's Luke who wrote it. Uh, we won't go through all that because we did it in the first session. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate to the river where we expected to find a place of prayer. Now, there will be no synagogue mentioned in Philippi, so it's likely that the Jews of Philippi were meeting by the water, by the, uh, by the river, for prayer, and it was common in places where Jews didn't have a synagogue in a city to meet by a, uh, in, a, in a public place where they could pray together. We sat down and began to speak to the woman who had gathered there. One of those listening, and by the way, the women are the prayers here, one of those listening was a woman from the city of Thyatira named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth. She was a worshiper of God, and the Greek word is sibomene. We'll get back to it. The Lord opened her heart to respond to Paul's message. When she and the members of her household were baptized, she invited us to her home. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, notice the change in language. One who is faithful or believing in Curio, in the Lord, um, Kyria Eleison, right? Um, if you count me a believer in the Lord, she said, come and stay at my house, and she persuaded us. This little encounter is the, is the ground on which European Christianity begins, according to the book of Acts. And Paul ends up, of course, writing a letter that we still have to the church in Philippi after he has left. So we know that this part, that Paul going to Philippi and starting a church is historical. And in this place, we run into language like we got last week. Lydia is not a Jewish woman. Lydia is a Sebamine. We got that vocab last week. She is a worshiper of God, a person who's hanging on at the edge of the synagogue and loves Judaism, but hasn't fully uh, committed to the covenant. So she's like the person who is a seeker, a person who comes to church and hasn't joined yet, right? So the first convert in, in Europe is a well-to-do woman called Lydia. And by the way, it's no accident. And when Paul writes Philippians, the other two people we hear named as probable leaders in their church are Euodia and Syntyche, two women, right? Clearly, the... Part of the starter base, part of the starter fluid for the church in Philippi was female, starting with Lydia and moving on from there. So, Acts 16, we will come back to next week when we do the anatomy of how Paul did his work socially and, and, uh, and locally. But for now, on the way, this is stop number one in Europe.